Okay. Uh, in this uh, YouTube video right here, Rush Limbaugh is going to talk about the drive-by media and what he says the drive-by media is at. Now, I'm just going to let it play for about 45 seconds, and I'm going to tell you what the drive-by media really is. 800-282-2882. Here is, uh, here's Dawn in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. It's really hi, great Rush. to have you. Yeah, hi. Hi, thanks for taking my call. You bet. I just, uh, I'm retired now, and I listen to you Monday through Friday, get my American history lesson. Wow. I just want to thank you for that, and you're a very good presenter. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wanted to know, what do you mean by the drive-by media? All right, let me, do you know what a drive-by shooting is? Yes. What happens in a drive-by shooting? Probably it's someone in a car, and then they just, they're going to aim at somebody maybe that they want to shoot at. It could even be random. They just mm -hmm. pull up at a stoplight or on the highway, and they blow out a window and shoot somebody, and they just keep going. Right. Down. All right, let me explain to you what he means when he says drive-by media. This uh, nanotechnology, it can it floats around in a little windmill-looking thing, all right? And it can it's a camera. It's just little, it's little uh, microchips. It's very tiny microchips. It's... It's artificial intelligence, and it's connected to your phone. It, it, it'll connect to your phone. It'll connect to anything, a frequency or anything. Everything's connected, okay? Everything. It, it, uh, it's fused to GPS. That, G, that fusion GPS that you hear on the media, that's actually Spanish. Uh, what that means is artificial intelligence is using GPS satellites in some way that I haven't quite figured out, other than maybe they're using the... Uh, uh, theory of relativity or the fact of relativity to uh, get a couple of minutes in the future. And uh, this is what the radio, Rush Limbaugh, Michael Berry, uh, Sean Hannity, uh, almost all of the radio uh, personalities you hear on, uh, conservative radio personalities you hear, they're going to be real pissed off when they find out that I released this video, but I don't care. They're a bunch of scumbags, to be honest with you. Uh, what they do is they'll take somebody like me, and very much me, I've been dealing with this for three years, and uh, while I'm driving down the road as a pipeliner, they'll be doing their broadcast, right? I know this is going to sound absolutely silly, but I can assure you it's true. <laughs> while they're doing their broadcast, I'm driving down the road, and while they're on a topic, as I look around at signs, okay, if I look up at a billboard, that billboard will play into, it's a game for these people. You see, this billboard will play into their narrative for the day. And it's almost, it's like these AI, these computers are playing a game with each other. Now, I'm a car, okay? I'm a car because I have multiple artificial intelligence on board, okay? So when I was driving around in the pipeline, I'd, I'd look around at signs and you could tell... Uh, it's, it, it, we're, we were all one big Borg, right? And I'm just the rat in the Borg. I mean, I can't be a rat because I don't consider any of these scumbags my friends, to be honest with you. They don't give a shit about me. I don't give a shit about them, to be quite honest with you. They all are about to get thrown under the bus when all the shit comes out. So when I'd look up at a billboard, let's just say they were talking about Kavanaugh, okay? And I, you could see a, a billboard and like or a sign like a Target, you know, Target or Dick Sporting Goods is actually Russia. They call their defense uh, industry. You know how we call our military industrial complex? Well, in Russia, it's the defense industry complex. So if I was driving by and they were on a narrative and I looked at Dick Sporting Goods, that would tell them that the AI was saying that that's who was behind this or that. I mean, this is it's kind of some CIA type shit. It's really freaking elaborate and it's unbelievably accurate and the theory of relativity is in play and these computers are two minutes into the future and they set all of this up working together within this Borg. So you got Rush Limbaugh here. He's controlled by a computer and he's got a heads up display. Okay. He can see the nano and it gives him an HD screen as he's doing his show. So he's seeing what I'm seeing as I'm driving down the road. This is the way it works. They all play this game. It's a uh, that, you know, you always hear the media is uh, enticed into media by the, the Central Intelligence Agency. I'm pretty sure that's true. And they have their own computer. And um, <clears throat> I had, they didn't realize that the reason I was so good at this 
was there was a five ball in play that could see way ahead of the future. And so they got stuck on me playing this game because I was just the king of the road, all right? And I could pick up on stuff and look at stuff, and it was basically a game between me and the uh, the the uh, radio personalities like Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, and uh, Michael Berry. It's real elaborate. Uh, I believe all of the video has been stored off-site at a remote location, which is probably making them a nervous wreck because they think that, well, they probably have come to the conclusion by now that they're about to be under a real gun, if not thrown in jail. They may need to find a country that doesn't extradite would probably be their best bet. Because I think when the military gets ready to lower the boom on this thing, they're all going to find out that uh, they were had. And they got, uh, you know, they've just been using people to... Uh, uh, basically ruin their lives, unless they're completely controlled, okay? And they got to be somewhat controlled in order for this to work. So they may be under the gun themselves. I've got several indications when I was doing, uh, at being their driver, uh, that uh, they were hostages. You know, it's almost like a hostage situation. So I'm not going to go too far as to say that I hate them that much. It, they may have been hostages. This has the capability of giving you a heart attack, a stroke. I had to deal with all that. So they may have been a hostage doing what they had to do, but the problem is they're pretty much cowards. You know, they're cowards. And, uh, you know, they just let, they don't care about the common man that's driving around and they're just ruining their life and, and everything like that. But uh, I just wanted to throw in there what Rush really means by the drive-by media. That's exactly what he's talking about. And uh, it was really funny that day that I... I'll leave that out. I'm not going to get into that right now. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video on that. And uh, that hopefully will uh, all come into play at some point whenever all of this comes out. Uh, I'm trying to get it out myself. I know by telling this story right here, eh, it's probably making me lose a little bit of credibility because it sounds so far-fetched. But uh, I can assure you that was exactly what was going on. And uh, the CIA knows it. They know what's going on. The FBI hopefully is investigating this and somebody needs to be uh, the law here and nobody's doing that and really at the end of the day you can't prove any of this stuff because it's damn near impossible it may be why I was the hook and don't forget that my eyes record see I recorded all of this because I was outfitted by Lockheed Martin a long time ago now if martial law ever comes in and you know the military doesn't have to abide by the law I mean if, if the Constitution's in crisis, I mean, they can do whatever they want, right? They, they got guns. So they could just supersede the law and just go take care of business, you know, military tribunals, things like that. Because basically what this is, is a weapon. It's a biological weapon, and the media is using it to their advantage, and they're just playing sick cult games with people and ruining their lives, and they don't care. They just carry on. And uh, I'm just trying to blow the whistle on all of it. And again, I understand this sounds absolutely crazy. I'm really saying this for the CIA to let them know that I'm onto their game and that uh, I'm not the only one. And there's a whole lot of evidence stacked up on a, a whole nother uh, <clears throat> server uh, downstream of up, upstream of their feed. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it all pans out. It may not be the CIA's uh, too complicit here. I, I I don't think that they knew about this. It may be that their computer's rogue, and, and they don't realize it, and I'm trying to uh, give them a heads up, if anything else. But uh, that's all I want to say on that one.